Hi foxes, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome! I have a Stitch Fix unboxing for you today. So if seeing Stitch Fix unboxings or fashion content is interesting to you, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and stick around! Hi again foxes. So my name is Brittany. I am also known as Shop Foxboro. I'm Shop Foxboro on Poshmark, Instagram, and Etsy, and over here on YouTube. And I love to do Stitch Fix unboxings and try-ons for you guys. I also get the newly subscription um, rental service, and then sometimes I just do like other random fashion hauls or random fashion content. So if that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I also sell on Poshmark, so I do a lot of like reseller content about like how to make money with the things that are in your closet um, and learning about vintage and stuff like that. So that is what this channel is about and I hope you will stick around. So today I have my Stitch Fix unboxing. It is the end of October. Um, I ended up returning all of my Stitch Fix last time because I just didn't think that there was anything in there that was really like winter in New England ready. So I let her know that it gets really cold here and also that I am looking for some fall booties in brown and that price did not matter so much when it came to shoes and booties and boots because I would rather have like quality. Um, so hopefully I got a nice pair of booties in this box. It is a little bit bigger so it is possible. And then I also sent her my fall winter Pinterest board to kind of help her get a little bit more of an idea, kind of refresh in her memory the type of styles that I like. So let's jump right in and see what I got. So as I go, I'm going to be trying on these video. I'm going to be trying on these items for you, kind of show you what they look like, whether or not I like them, um, and then you can kind of cast your vote at the end and let me know what you think. If I should keep anything, I have not cheated, so I do not know what is in this box. Um, yeah. So let's see. Looks like I don't think we got any boots. Um, we did get some nice like fall colors i definitely let her know that i was still looking for like fall and cozy i like this like plaid thing and then we got some kind of like little accessory or oh no this is a bra that i ordered so you can actually add on different items to your stitch fix that my dog is like click clacking around in here um, that you can just purchase straight out things like lingerie, underwear, um, pajamas, stuff like that. So I wanted to try the True and Company bras. I'm not going to try this one for you, but um, yeah, so this is the True and Company. It just looked like really comfortable. <laughs> So we'll see. It said that I needed to get a size medium for my cup size and I am interested to see how it fits and whether it like holds things in and up. <laughs> so we'll see about that. If you're not already familiar with Stitch Fix, basically you fill out a style profile online. You give them sort of like a $25 deposit that you can then put toward anything that you purchase from your Stitch Fix box and they curate a box of clothing for you based on your style and your size. Um, sometimes it takes a couple of fixes to sort of like either find the right stylist or get them to understand your style. But once you kind of find that sweet spot, I find that you get some really cute stuff. So the first thing I got in this box is this full colored like maroon top from Paper Moon. Uh, this is cute, but it is definitely still too thin for me to wear um, past like October, and it's the end of October. This is the Larry tie sleeve blouse in burgundy, and again, it is by Paper Moon, and she sent me a size large. Next 
up is a striped something. Ah, this is cute. So, Lord, I just bought this elbow patch sweater. This is actually a Stitch Fix sweater that I bought on Poshmark, but she sent another one. This is Market and Spruce. The Gianna Striped Elbow Patch Cardigan. So this is like a black and white striped cardigan and then it has these little like tan elbow patches on it. That is cute. Um, I'm not sure about the stripes, but we will see how it looks on. Had a Daniel Rain top. This is the Quinn cap sleeved mixed material top. This is short sleeve. I don't really need any more short sleeve stuff, but this is very cute. I do like the floral. I like the crochet detail on the front, and then it's also got crochet detail down the back, so that's really pretty. And she sent me a size large in that. I like this stripe. Um, this is by Nine Britain, and I don't actually do too great with um, stripes that are horizontal because I have a really big chest, but we'll see. I do like this mustard color. I do already have a mustard and white striped shirt though, so <laughs> I, I don't know if I'll need this, but it's got this cute tie detail down here at the front, and it just looks like kind of oversized, kind of comfy. This is the Levy Knot Front Knit Top in Mustard, and she sent a size large in that. Last but not least, this plaid situation, which I am loving. I think this is really cute. Okay, this is another cardigan. It has pockets. Oh, so it's got these pockets on the front. I love a cardigan with pockets. And this is a size large. This is the Chasta plaid cardigan in navy. And I just think that's really cute. I like the colors. Um, it's really soft and I like that it has pockets. It's exactly the type of thing that I would like toss on to come downstairs and do my little kindergartner's remote learning and stay warm and cozy. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm excited about this one. And I think out of everything in the box, honestly, this one is my favorite. Um, even though the other one has the shoulder patches, it is, sorry, the elbow patches, it is striped and I just really like this plaid and this is really soft and thick and I feel like I would get a lot of use out of this. feel like this was a much more fall themed box than my last box was. My last box, I just felt like it was 
kind of like spring summery and um, so I definitely like this a lot more. And I actually did end up buying some boots off of Poshmark so the fact that I didn't get boots I'm not super bummed about it but if I had been holding out for my stitch fix to hopefully get some boots I would definitely be pretty bummed about that. And I feel like I could have gotten that instead of a short sleeve top, you know? Alright, so first we're going to read the note from my stylist and then we're going to see how much everything costs. Alrighty. Oh, I have a new stylist for this one. She, it says, my name is Amy and I'm super excited to be styling you today. I'm excited to tell you more about our new shop feature on our app and website, which I've used it before. Um, so she checked out my inspiration board on Pinterest and started with the plaid cardigan. She said to pair it with a gray t-shirt and black leggings with brown knee-high boots for a great fall look. Uh, she also gave me the knot front top to pair with your favorite jeans and the black striped elbow patch cardigan and then the burgundy tie sleeve blouse since she knows I love a statement sleeve. Uh, she looked for ankle boots to no avail but she'll be on the lookout. Out. So my other stylist was Greer. I don't know if she's not styling anymore or if I just had like too many fixes where I didn't buy anything uh, and so they decided to give me a different stylist. But yes, Amy. So the Chasta plaid cardigan in navy was 78. The elbow patch cardigan was 64. The paper moon um, tie sleeve blouse in the red was 44. The knot front top was 34 and the cap sleeve Daniel Rain like black crochet top was 64 so that is I always find Daniel Rain stuff is like so expensive so the order subtotal was $284 if I bought everything I would get a discount of $71 and then the bra that I decided to try was $58 so if I got everything in this box it would be $271 so that is it. What did you guys think of my Stitch Fix box? What was your favorite item? Um, what would you keep and what would you send back? Let me know down in the comments below and I'll wait a couple of days before I send this back and we can kind of decide together. If there's anything you really don't like on me, let me know. I don't mind. And uh, yeah, so I hope that I will see you for my next box next month um, or that you'll stick around and stick with me for some other fashion content. Okay, so I'll see you next time and thanks so much for watching. Bye! Hi. Okay, you say, don't forget to subscribe. Don't get to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't get to subscribe. 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 And now give a thumbs up. Say, Hit the thumbs up button. Hit the thumbs up button. There you go. <laughs> Great job. Now what's your, where is that thumbs up button? Well, it's on the computer when they're watching the video. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> All right. Will you go wait for me? Yeah. Okay.